Hey, uh, this is Andy from InkXpro.com. Um, today I'm going to show you how to install the Continue Ink System for the Epson Workforce WF7710 printer. Um, the system we have is the X Pro series, uh, which is used 252 cartridges, and this system also compatible with the 7720, 7210. Also, the previous model um, WF uh, 7610, 7620, uh, 3640, 3620, those printers. Uh, before you install the system, uh, you place the ink reservoir on the side of the printer, which for this printer, which is about um, four and a half inch above the table. Um, Basically, it's the, the top of the ink reservoir is matched to the printer um, when it's the scanner unit being opened. So, so the ink level in the, in the reservoir should be matched to the ink level to the cartridge. Uh, the air vents should be op open uh, before you open it. Um, I would recommend you do like this, just flip over to move the back the ink from the back chamber to the front chamber. And now you can open the uh, the air vents so the ink is not coming out. Air has been opened. Uh, now we're going to install the cartridges. So we go to setting, maintenance, in cartridge replacement. All right, we're going to open the scanner unit. Uh, the printer, uh, we recommend you always install the original cartridge for printer initialization first. Um, that's a, a probably three to five minute process to set up the printer software. Also the hardware of the printer, to charging ink. And this one we used, we have already used the refillable cartridges. Um, I'm going to remove it. Okay, this is the 252 refillable cartridges. Um, if you don't want to use the continue ink system, you also can use the refillable cartridges. Uh, a lot of people use this uh, refillable cartridge for sublimation printing. And the basic rule is um, if you do a lot of printing, and you print it every day, you use continue ink system. If doing casual printing, um, but you really don't really print that much, and you use uh, the refillable cartridges. Uh, you can buy the refillable cartridge from our website. Okay, for this printer, uh, you don't have to uh, remove the, the cartridge lead. Um, we can do installation like this. There's an open window here, and just put the cartridge in, press it down, make sure they're snapped in. So you push the tab a little bit, so make sure the cartridge are properly installed. Then you close the lid. Now we can set up the tubing. Um, I'm going to use the tape um, here. Uh, basic any scotch tape, any strong tape uh, is good for the installation. So the tubing should be... We, we attach the tubing here in the middle of the printer so the cartridge can 
moving from the right side to the left side. You might need to do a, 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 a couple of uh, adjustments with the tubing. Uh, sometimes the, the tubing might jam up inside the printer. So the, the tubing um, inside the printer should not be uh, twisted. Okay, just do it like this. Before we close the scanner unit, um, push the reset button for 5 seconds to reset the cartridges. One, two, three. Okay, uh, the system comes with the rubber plug jumper. Uh, the, the purpose of the jumper is to um, pan in the printer. Um, the scanner, we put it here, which is telling the printer the scanner unit being closed. So right now, because we are doing testing, um, we don't want to close the scanner unit. We want to watch how the cartridge is moving uh, to make sure we uh, do we need a, a, another adjustment with the tubing. Okay, basic this uh, the printer telling you the you are not install the genuine Epson in cartridges. Um, so it says okay. I'm gonna just click okay. It will telling you okay the quality or real reliability of the cartridge whatever. Um, let's go proceed. Continue using this ink. Choose yes. So you're going to use this ink and the printer will tell you cartridge replacement is complete. But sometimes you will doing a process, you will doing this uh, charging process, uh, take about a few minutes to do the initialization and you just wait. Hey, I'm going to show you another way to set up the tubing. Uh, we're going to use this uh, the plastic piece, uh, the plastic bar, and also the the two bracket. So we're going to attach the Attach the, the the plastic bar over here. And use the bracket like this. Holding the tubing and you can adjust the tubing like this. And yeah, but in this way, yeah, you cannot close the scanner unit. Uh, you have to use the jumper. This rubber piece, and you have to use the jumper to turn in the printer which is scanner unit being closed. Right, uh, we're gonna do a test print, make a copy. Let's make a copy here. Okay, copy, color copy. Okay. 
the, the car.